Since a lot of you appear to have enjoyed my reading of Sunbreak Stories Volume 1, I would figured I'd go ahead and do the same for Volume 2 as well as in the future Volume 3, 4, all the way up to Volume 8, which I believe is going to be the last Sunbreak Stories that was posted. But basically, I really enjoyed reading through Volume 1 and it gave us a lot more background information about Fear Rain. I thought it was pretty cool. So, you know, we're going to be checking out Volume 2 because I also feel like this is some good content to put in the channel in between all of my anomaly shenanigans. Now, as you guys may notice throughout my voice, I am a little bit sick, so apologies for that, but hopefully it will still make for enjoyable reading. So it says here on the Twitter post, Sunbreak Stories Volume 2, Princess Chiche's Adventure. Not one to sit idly by whilst the kingdom and its people are in danger, Chiche steps forward to aid those in need. Princess and Quest Damsel, this is her story. Lady Fearain, Lady Fearain, there is a letter for you. As I left the Queen's audience chamber, I was handed a letter. It was from my sister, Rondine, and she mentioned the perilous state Kamura Village was in. The arrival of the Rampage, the appearance of Magnamalo, and then Ibushi. Things seemed to be getting worse every day. But thanks to the efforts of a hunter known as the Fierce, the villagers are in high spirits. Be that as it may, a small village like that cannot withstand such a giant onslaught for long. The kingdom should extend a helping hand, but right now... Fearane! As a voice shouting my name reverberated through the hallway, I came back to my senses. I looked up at one of the hallways on the higher floors and saw Princess Chiche, the first princess of the kingdom, waving at me. Hold on just a second, she yelled as she descended the stairs. Her vibrant chestnut hair fell down to her waist, and it bounced softly with every step she took. The long dress she was wearing seemed difficult to move in, as the princess was holding her skirt up by the hem in a desperate attempt to not trip over herself. You shouldn't run, your highness. May I ask, what is the matter? I've heard you're going to the outpost as well. Are things really that bad? The monsters that had heretofore made only the kingdom their turf had been acting strangely recently. They'd been crossing their boundaries as if they wanted to desperately get out. This is most likely because of Malzino. This could have a vast impact on the monster's ecosystems. Furthermore, it was surmised that Malzino, the cursed creature that had attacked the kingdom so many times before, was behind this sudden change of behavior. I swear I hadn't read ahead of time. I, I promise you. It's definitely not looking good. However, we will depart for Elgato and make absolutely sure the problem is solved. So please do not worry yourself. Do you have enough people? A painful question. The princess is a kind and gentle soul, but she reads every document she receives very thoroughly, and if she finds anything questionable, she will not hesitate to consult an expert for hours on end until she gets the answer she wants. Those pretty twinkling eyes conceal a fiercely burning passion. No wonder then that she is already very well aware that Elgato is lacking the required number of knights and researchers. To be honest, as I struggled for words, Princess Chiche nodded and grabbed my hand. Without a word, she started walking. Her destination, the royal audience chamber that I had just left. What did you just say now, Chiche? The queen was so shocked that she stood up from her throne as she demanded a reply from her daughter. I said, mother, that I would like to receive permission to go to Elgato as well. Her majesty looked at me with a troubled expression. Obviously shaken by Chiche's words, I quickly shook my head. I had informed her that Elgato was understaffed, but I never asked the princess to come. Princess Chiche, I started. It was up to me to put a stop to this. I could not possibly let any member of the royal family, let alone the first princess, join me at the front lines. I urge you to reconsider. We are heading to Elgato for the sake of the kingdom, to protect the people, which includes Her Majesty and you. If I'd allow you to come along, that would be putting the cart before the gown goat. Gown goats are the new creatures that show up in the Citadel. They are very furry. They almost look like, um, what do you call that animal? I don't know. They look like the stink minks, but really, really big. Her Majesty nodded at my words. She usually maintains an air of dignity, but she very easily falters in front of Rondine and me. Her youthful face was almost indistinguishable from Princess Chiche, despite her panicked expression and teary eyes. She, she's right, Chiche. What would you even do in Elgato? You cannot hunt monsters. And, uh, someone there needs to stay in contact with the guild so that the knights can take on their quests. And I thought that was just a task for me, Chiche replied. Her majesty, desperately trying to make sense of the situation, looked at me again. 
She means the quest counter. In other words, her highness wishes to become a quest damsel. I was impressed. Elgato did indeed have a shortage of knights and researchers, but it also required a lot of points of contact for the guild. The princess is a clever one indeed. But no one from the royal family has ever done something like this before. Chiche stepped forward and opened her mouth. Mother, I'm sorry if I sound selfish, but it's been so painful for me hearing about how the knights and researchers are risking their lives at the front lines while I sit back here at the safety of the capital in a solid castle, sleeping in a soft bed, eating delicious meals just because I'm royalty. Her majesty and you possess the most power in the kingdom, and it is your job to rule. There is no need to feel pain or anguish, I preferred while kneeling in front of her. The queen added, I am touched by your kindness, Chiche, but you are the heir to the throne, and one day you must rule this kingdom. That is exactly why Princess Chiche was not backing down. If I am to become a good queen, I need to be by everyone's side as they face danger, especially now that we're facing a bigger threat than ever before. Don't you want to get out of the castle and learn about other cultures? This, this really adds a lot of personality to Chiche. I mean, we already knew that she was royalty and all of that, but like the, um, the whole situation here is really, really cool. To the princess, having spent her entire life at the castle, Elgato was a completely unknown world. I could understand her being curious, but it was her strong desire to stand side by side with the people risking their lives in order to become a good queen that hit me the most. To think that this cute little princess feels so much compassion and responsibility for her people. Very well then, Chiche, the queen seemed to have made up her mind at last. It seems you are stronger than your mother thought. You're much more mature than I had anticipated. I sensed something off about her voice. I looked up at her and saw tears streaming down her cheeks. Chiche, she said to her beloved daughter, the tears almost choking her words. But Princess Chiche replied with a smile. Mother, she said as she ran towards her to wipe the tears off her face. Mother, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to distress you. I'm not distressed, my sweetheart. I'm proud. These are tears of joy. How could a mother like this raise a beautiful princess like you? It's because I strive to be like you every day, mother, and nothing makes me happier than to hear that I've become someone you can be proud of. The princess started to cry as well. Her majesty drew the princess towards her and hugged her. We are lucky knights to have such a gentle, strong, and proud queen and princess. I must protect our kingdom at all costs. I once again steeled my resolve as I felt tears welling up in the corners of my eyes. Chiche, the queen whispered while hugging the princess and lovingly caressing her hair. I've heard it's not easy to become a qualified quest receptionist. You'd better start studying right away. Good point. Even if the princess would do it in the fastest way possible, it would still take... Don't worry, mother. Chiche smiled. I already have my diploma. <laughs> that day at Elgato Outpost, all of the knights, researchers, and sailors were nervously awaiting a special arrival. And then, Fearain. Admiral Gallius pointed towards the docks. Beyond them, the outline of a ship could be seen. Everyone! I assembled the knights and left the command post. Princess Chiche has arrived. Let's give her a warm welcome. The researchers and sailors had gathered as well. Today was to be Chiche's first day as a quest damsel in Elgato. Everyone stared in amazement as the princess disembarked the ship, and no wonder, for her beautiful long hair had been cut all the way up to her ears. She was wearing a simple dress, something that wouldn't stand out in Elgato. Princess Chiche had noticed everyone staring at her new erdo. Oh, I just cut it because I figured it would only get in the way. My head actually feels a lot lighter now. She showed a carefree smile and bowed politely. I am Chiche, the new quest damsel. I look forward to working with all of you. And then we have the picture here of Chiche holding Fiorain's hand and pulling her to the... What was it called? Uh, the Royal Audience Room or whatever it was throughout the story. That's really cool. Gives you a lot more insight into Chiche. And I like reading about these different characters um, in Sunbreak. And uh, yeah, since it seems that a lot of you enjoy it as well, I'll keep doing it. I'll keep doing volume three, four, five, as long as you guys are interested. But yeah, pretty cool little story. And uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, hit it up with a like. If not, hit it up with a dislike. Feedback is important. I probably tried out a new format this time around. Let me know how you like it. And um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay strong. Stay safe.
Peace out.